Roberts. Thank you, President. Thank you, President. My question is directed to the Minister representing the Minister for Immigration and Minister representing the Attorney General, Senator Watt. Last week, the Australian Federal Police publicised the case of a father who was convicted of attempting to force his 15-year-old and 17-year-old daughters into arranged marriages. For clarity, my question only relates to arranged marriages where either party is not given a choice. To respect the privacy of the children involved, Minister, my question goes to policy. Is human trafficking a 15-year-old girl into marriage sufficient grounds for deportation? If not, why not? Uh, thank you, Senator Roberts. Minister Watt. Thank, thank you, uh, Senator Roberts, for the question. I don't have details as to the specific case that you're uh, referring to, um, but certainly what I can say is that uh, a breach of character grounds on any basis would be a, the basis for cancelling someone's visa and deporting them from Australia. Um, so uh, if it is the case that, um, that, that, that a crime has been committed in this case, uh, or if character grounds in general were found to not be satisfied, um, then of course uh, the outcome of that would be that a visa would be cancelled. Uh, as I say, I don't have enough details about the particular case involved, and you, you yourself were saying that you didn't want to go to the details of that case and wanted to talk more generally, but that is the general position when it comes to visas. Uh, if there's any further information that I can provide, I'd be happy to do so. I thank you, Minister. Senator Roberts, first supplementary. Thank you. Minister, forced marriage of a child carries a nine-year prison penalty, 25 years if the child is sent overseas for the marriage. Australian Federal Police Com Commander Kate Ferry described the offence as human trafficking, as does the Attorney-General's website. Your answer downplayed a serious issue of women's rights and contradicts your own website. Minister, with 91 cases of forced marriage reported to the AFP in the year to June, when will you start deporting the offenders, including the clergy involved? Thank you, Senator Roberts. Minister Watt. Um, thanks, President. Thanks, Senator Roberts. Well, I mean, again, I don't have the details of those 91 cases, and I'm not, I'm not certain that they all involve people who are in Australia on visas. I'd want to fact-check that um, before accepting that that was the case. But as I say, uh, when it comes to visas that are granted to people to visit Australia, um, they come on conditions. Uh, and, of course, any visa holder has responsibilities to the people of Australia while they're present in Australia. Uh, ordinarily, what would occur is that if someone is convicted of an offence, um, and I don't know whether any of these individuals have been convicted of offences, but if that were to occur, then they would ordinarily serve their sentence in an Australian prison. And once they'd served their sentence, that would be the time at which they would be deported, that their visa would be cancelled. Um, ordinarily, as I understand it, we don't cancel people's visas before we put them in jail if they've committed an offence. They would serve out their sentence in a jail and then went on a release. That would be the time that their visa would be cancelled. Thank you, Minister. Senator Roberts, second supplementary. Minister, how many arrivals on permanent visas were deported for criminal activity in calendar 2023 or later, if you have the data? Thank For you, clarity, sir. I don't want visa overstays or deportations on technical grounds. My question goes specifically to reluctance to deport for a serious criminal offence. Thank you, Senator Roberts. Minister Watt. Thanks, uh, Senator Roberts. Well, again, I don't have that level of detail with me representing the Attorney General, but if there's information that I can provide to uh, answer your question, I'd be happy to provide that. Um, what I can say is that, uh, obviously, it's a matter for police if there is an allegation of a crime. Uh, as I say, I'm not, I'm not across the details of this particular uh, um, report that you're referring to. Um, I don't, I'm not aware of whether the person has been charged or convicted, um, uh, Minister, but it's a matter for police. Your seat. Uh, Senator Roberts. Standing Order 72.3c says that answers shall be directly relevant to each question. I'm not after the details on this question. I've got them. We're, we're not, um, we, what we want to know is how many arrivals and permanent visas were deported for criminal activity in calendar 2023 okay. or later, if you have the but data. Senator Roberts, you simply needed to have stood and said relevance. The minister was relevant. He indicated in the first part of his answer um, that if he could get more detail, he would, and he is entitled to continue his answer. Minister Watt, please continue. Thank you, uh, President. Uh, as I say, Senator Roberts, I'm happy to provide any further details um, in addition to anything that I do have here. What I am aware of is that there's been significantly more visa cancellations occur under this government than ever than occurred while Mr Dutton was the Home Affairs Minister. That's something I can tell you. Uh, but I'm happy to come back to you with uh, additional details once they come to hand. Thank you, Minister. Senator Dunia.